went to the doctor and got my blood drawn and then went to Starbucks. Even though this is like a frozen sandwich full of all sorts of horrible shit. This is so fucking good right now. It has been so hazy. You can barely see, I mean, you can see the hill a little bit better here, but you can barely see sunset and you can barely see Century City over there. It's fucking crazy. So today, I finally hit 50 pounds lost and I will have gained three pounds by tomorrow just because of this and how much sodium is in it. I'll show you the haze in a minute. Oh, it's so nice up here right now. I don't even know if you can hear me. I went to the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. I'm gonna see how long I could go without cigarettes and just the vape. As the days go, if I could make this work, as the days go, I'm gonna be coughing really hard a lot because my lungs are going to start healing themselves and getting rid of all the like tar and shit that's in them. We'll see how this goes. Let's see if I can see it out there. This is so bad. You can't see very far at all. So I will keep checking in and letting you know how this is going. Okay, it's after midnight. Have not smoked. Been however long it's been since we had this talk earlier. It has been difficult. I was just trying to keep busy. So like I cut my hair, trimmed my beard, and now I just have some weird fucking goatee thing that I don't know how I'm feeling about, but whatever. I have been vaping, but I'm also afraid to eat because it's like every other time I quit smoking in the past, <laughs> I just end up eating a shit ton as a replacement. I'm like, oh, I'm not smoking anymore, but I sure fucking go to Taco Bell a lot. I'm trying. I have a headache, but like I realized around 11 o'clock that I haven't eaten anything since that um, breakfast sandwich, which was the only thing I had to eat today. And that's not good because now I'm hungry. I want a cigarette and um, I haven't had anything to drink either except coffee today. Have I had water? I haven't even had water today. I had three cups of coffee and then the one big Starbucks coffee. That's not good. But I don't have any of the stuff I like. Like I don't have my um, coconut water. Um, I don't like drinking the tap water here. It really stinks like chlorine when it comes out of the tap. I try not to ever drink it. The only time I do drink it is when I make my shakes. I need to go grocery shopping, but I'm not going to be able to do it tomorrow because I have to go to little Tokyo and get cut up again. So that'll be fun. Yeah, I haven't smoked. And like the thing that keeps coming up in my head is like you're only smoking because you feel like you need to smoke and i know that sounds really fucking stupid but when you've been addicted to something for so long and it's weird because like today when i first left the apartment uh to go to my doctor's office i don't know if it was because i was wearing my new shoes or what but i just felt like i'm like dude i just want to go running and i haven't fucking ran anywhere in fucking like who knows how long i don't run because my knees have been shit but also that was like 50 plus pounds ago so i'm not gonna go running like don't get me wrong that's not gonna fucking happen right now just the idea that like i'm feeling 
healthier, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't want to sound like a fucking health nut. Dude, that looks so ridiculous. What am I doing? Get a fucking haircut, you hippie. Jesus. That's ridiculous. I had no idea my hair was that long. What the fuck is... I, like, I could stretch my arm out all the way. Oh my god. It has taken me this long to realize that my hair looks like whatever the fuck this is. Jesus Christ, who lets me out of the fucking house? The fuck was I talking about? Why I wanted to lose weight in the first place was because I was tired of injuring myself every fucking 10 minutes. Like, I fucking tore my fucking meniscus. I tore my ACL. I tore my PCL. Um, I fucked up my... Uh, what, patella or something? I fucked up my back. I did all this shit because gravity fucking hates people who weigh a lot. And it's a constant fucking struggle. And I just got fucking tired of it. So, like, I just wanted to lose weight so I wouldn't injure myself all the time. And then on top of that, I wanted to start working out because over the last... I don't know, six or seven years, every time I start working out, I fucking hurt myself. And even earlier this year in January, I was fucking planking and fucking like bent a vertebrae in my back. Like it's fucking stupid. So like, I'm not telling you guys to quit drinking. I'm not telling you guys to quit smoking. I'm not telling you guys to fucking lay off the fucking cheese sticks. I'm just saying like, for me, like I just want to not fucking hurt myself all the time. That's it. So back to me, it's like today, I just wanted to fucking go running. Obviously I'm not gonna fucking do that, but the idea that I had a desire to do something like that. This was like the first time in years that I've wanted to fucking run anywhere. So like just the, the idea that that thought crossed my mind and I'm like, ooh, that sounds fun. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? But the thought crossed my mind and it's because I'm feeling better physically. So I, like all day today, when I've been wanting a cigarette, I keep like going back. I'm like, hey, but remember earlier you wanted to run somewhere out of the blue without anyone like nudging you into that direction? You just on your own without thinking had that thought? Like I'm wanting to kind of lay into that right now. Like when I woke up today, I wasn't thinking, ooh, I'm going to quit smoking today cold turkey. Well, I'm not really cold turkey because I'm vaping. But I realize it's not the nicotine as much as it is the cigarette. I like the way a cigarette feels in my fingers. I like the way it feels in my mouth. I could vape all fucking day for the nicotine and I still fucking want a cigarette. This whole like weaning off of cigarettes as I've been doing for the past like six or nine months or whatever, I cut down a lot, but I'm still smoking. And it's like I hit a wall a couple months ago and I haven't been able to get less than that. So like now I'm smoking, it, it usually breaks down like this. I'll get two packs of cigarettes and that lasts me about three days. So however many cigarettes that is a fucking day. I, I, I can't fucking do the math. But it varies. And it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm drinking with people, like I could fucking kill a pack of cigarettes in a couple hours. Yeah, that's not very fucking helpful. It's not the nicotine as much as it is the cigarette. Because like there's been times when I have both. I have the vape and I have the cigarettes. And I will not touch the vape until I finish all my cigarettes. And then I basically smoke the vape until I could get to the store and get more cigarettes. I've been hitting that vape so fucking hard today. And all I've wanted was a cigarette. And like it's not like I hit the vape and I'm like, ooh, that feels better. Everything's fine now. It's like I hit the vape. And I don't like the way it feels in my hand. I don't like the way 
the nozzle feels in my mouth and all I want is a fucking cigarette. So with that said, and it's been really easier than I thought, talking myself out of going to the store. I'm like, fuck, I just really want to go to the store right now. And I'm like, or I could just not because like you're your own dude. You don't need a cigarette telling you what to do. I'm not trying to be preachy to you guys who smoke. I don't give a fuck. Do whatever the fuck you want as long as it's not hurting other people. Okay? I really don't give a shit. For me, right now, that is how I'm feeling. And just the idea, like seriously, if we want to talk small victories, the fact that I did not go to the store today to get a cigarette, huge. Such a fucking huge deal. Because if anyone knows me, like on the day-to-day, -day, on the regs, if I don't have a cigarette, I'm like ready to fucking murder somebody until I get to the goddamn store. So just the idea that I was like today, like, oh, I don't have to do that. That is so big. Like you got, like for those of you who've never smoked or anything like that, you have no idea what that's like. If you've never had an addiction of any kind, it's huge. And I'm really proud of myself right now. I'm proud of myself for losing 50 fucking pounds. Let's not talk about my hair right now. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm kind of proud of myself. Humble brag. I will update you tomorrow on how this whole thing's going um, during my members only uh, morning coffee live stream. And I'm almost out of coffee. So maybe I, I will have to go to a coffee shop tomorrow. Actually, I don't even know if I have enough coffee for a cup of coffee tomorrow. We might have to go to a coffee shop tomorrow for the stream. So, come see, come saw. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Kisses. And um, I will talk to you soon. Yeah, um, I have a few minutes before my um, members stream today. Um, I have one cup of coffee. I think I'm gonna have enough coffee for maybe one more cup, and then that's it. So I'm gonna have to go to 7-Eleven or something. I gotta figure this out. Maybe I should just do the stream on my phone. But I still haven't had a cigarette, guys. It's now, what, roughly been 24 hours since I've had a cigarette? So, I don't know, I'm hanging in there. Oh, and I've lost 55 pounds now. Not eating anything yesterday and not drinking anything yesterday and then freaking out about maybe eating instead of having a cigarette, I lost five pounds. So, hey, something's good, you know? All right, I'll see you guys.